Okay, um, what is the future of Sunku and how big is the market there? Okay, presently, if you look at uh, data, of course, first of all, you will only find a very authentic data out of Malaysia, the Mineral Analysis Commission, uh, because uh, other market are not, I mean, how do being regulation driven. Mm. At the same time, uh, you would always uh, see the, the figures coming out, like uh, research done by uh, Vincent Young, Arab Bahrain, mm. and probably a few other institutions. So from, uh, let me put from the, the base angle, the fund angle is working at up to like one trillion or above, as a matter of fact, in the next uh, couple of years. Uh, but of course, it's clear enough that these funds are chasing for investment avenues or investment instruments which are not really there uh, in the market yet. So in other words, if you only have uh, 50 billion uh, suku, for example, as of 2007, uh, so it doesn't reach the 100 billion dollar yet. So how, how, how do you expect this 1 trillion money going to chase after? Uh, but at the same time, uh, if you're talking about the, the potential development, just like in Malaysia, where 70% of uh, corporate bonds have been issued to Islamic. So the way how we look at the global perspective, the global platform, assuming the regulatory framework by Islamic financial markets are there, you would be able to see almost the same momentum like what we have seen in Malaysia. So my hunch would be like, at least if you see Malaysia 70% of the corporate bonds are Islamic, that would mean 70% of the global bond should be Islamic should the regulatory framework is in place. What I'm trying to emphasize here is um, when when you do not have a regulatory framework that really regulate the Islamic financial market, that really regulate the Islamic funds mobilization, what's, hap what's been happening in those non-regulated Islamic financial market, the Islamic funds, you know, being leaked into the conventional market. So what's been happening now, the Islamic financial institution uh, getting the Islamic funds in the in the form of deposit or the fund management uh, category, uh, at the end, uh, a big chunk of them uh, go back to the conventional market uh, because no one regulates that. You're going to see an Islamic bank uh, out of the Middle East market, for example, so can't be out of Malaysia um, because of the regulatory framework again. So might be placing the, the Islamic money, uh, you know, like Islamic Bank out of Bahrain or out of Dubai uh, or out of Jeddah, might be placing their money with a conventional bank out of London or some other jurisdiction. Or what's been popular in the market now, what they call commodity murabaha transaction. So this this flow of Islamic <coughs> funds to the conventional market basically will retard the development of Islamic global financial market. So should this regulatory framework is really in place like what you have seen in Malaysia, um, the whole development will push uh, the potential issuance of Islamic bonds. I would suspect if Malaysia had reached the 70% uh, level of issuances, uh, so that's the global market. The reason why that 30% will always be there because they are also non-compliant uh, sectors. They are also non-compliant uh, industries like alcohol, uh, gambling, those categories where the Islamic bond will not uh, get into. Therefore, will be a certain percentage will be still left in the conventional market. But without having those, particularly the GTC jurisdiction, you know, without having them, regulate uh, their own Islamic financial market as long as they are allowing the Islamic funds flowing into the conventional market you will never see a potential premium of the Islamic bond in the Malaysian contact to be seen uh, at a global level. So that is the present context of how it's going to move out and we're talking about the value is going to be a big chunk and the tipping point is really the regulatory framework and how the Sharia scholars out of the GCC look at these Islamic funds leakages into the conventional system. Of course, as we speak, as we talk in this manner, uh, there have been discussion at the Sharia scholars level on 
why I mean should we allow this to continue or should we follow the Malaysian regime where the Islamic fund is restricted into the Islamic financial system only but that is the the, 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 the real issue in the Islamic financial market as far as going forward and develop to a better state